I want to talk about Pinguicula isseriana, and that's my plant of the day today. Um, Pinguicula isseriana, it's a tropical butterwort. Pings can be described as either um, temperate or tropical. So with the tropical pings, um, these guys have, um, they can all be found in Latin America with the center of biodiversity for these guys all occurring in Mexico. So Pinguica Siriana is native to north central Mexico in a couple different states and you can find these guys on really dry rocky slopes. So they're growing with agaves, they're growing with other succulents. Um, sometimes these slopes have like specialized substrates like gypsum or limestone or feldspar, like things like that have a very specialized niche. Um, and you know, in these places, the, the winter is the dry season and it's not until spring that I actually start getting more rain. So the way we grow these here at the greenhouse and how we recommend we grow them at home is on a very sunny windowsill. And in the winter, we actually keep them pretty dry. So water them as needed, just a little sprinkle over the top. And in the summer, when they start growing a little more, um, that's when you can keep them sitting in water. The reason I love Pinguicula seriana so much is because it stays so tiny. So these little rosettes here really only get like an inch across. Um, and you can compare that to Pinguicula gigantea, for example, which can get to like a foot across. So these guys here, these are in their little winter succulent phase. So with, with all of the tropical pings, or most of them actually, um, they have two faces, phases. In the winter, they have this succulent phase. So I just said in the winter, that's like their dry season. And that's how they survive those, um, those drier times. They actually go into this little succulent phase, which um, helps them store water. In the summer when they start growing, they actually have um, little like wider uh, carnivorous leaves. And so that's when they're doing their trap. And then the difference between their winter succulent phase, which we're seeing here, and their summer carnivorous phase is not very different. So here they are in their winter succulent phase. And you can see all the little leaves are like pretty thick and juicy and they're doing a little water um, storage there. And then when they grow into their summer carnivorous stage, they have these really prominent rounded margins on the edges of the leaves, which I just really love. And it gives it this really classic king look. So there's other small species of pings that these guys are associated with, um, Pinguicula debertiana or Pinguicula ellerse. Um, there's also Pinguicula halmavensis, which some people consider actually Pinguicula seriana. Um, and their rosettes are all very much the same, um, but one of the main differences is the flowers. So with Pinguicula seriana, they have these really cute um, throat patches. So you can see it's all really nice and pink, but then they have this yellow, almost green little blotch on their throat right there. And the, those other species I just mentioned don't have that. I just love this species so much. Um, I think it's such a classic, iconic ping. Um, that's just really easily recognizable. And so that's why I made it the subject of our latest t-shirt design. We made some stickers too, if you wanna check those out on our website. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy Pinguicula Seriana as much as I do. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, um, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much.